A while back I watched a video by SJH7132. They evolved a turbine blade and compared it to a standard blade called the lens. In the simulations, the turbine that was evolved actually produced a larger power number than the lens. This blade was called the jellyfish because it kind of looks like a jellyfish. The blade was never actually made or tested in the real world because the simulation's air viscosities were set closer to Jupiter's atmosphere than the Earth's. That being said, I've never let a little thing like facts stop me from doing something stupid. So I built the jellyfish turbine. My current 3D printer is so teeny, each piece had to be printed individually. And this took forever. But eventually, I had all the pieces I needed. The turbine has a small bearing to give it the least amount of friction and the best chances of working. I'm just using a quarter inch drill bit as the shaft because it fits and was laying on my desk. Outdoor testing was inconclusive because the wind is unpredictable and I ended up breaking the first turbine I made. This is about the time I realized that if this blade works, I have nothing to compare it to. I modeled, printed, and assembled a lens turbine. I'm really not sure what metric I should be using to compare the two because I'm not an engineer nor an aerodynamicist. So for now, let's just see if they work. Of course it worked. What about the jellyfish? That worked too. But like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, and these tests could be total bukkake. What I noted is the lens spins much faster than the jellyfish, but this could be up to many things, such as overall weight or even the length of the blades themselves. But most likely SJH7132 was right. And it's just not designed or I guess evolves for our atmosphere. If you have any suggestions for testing these turbines, or even something else you'd like me to make and test, leave me a comment below and maybe I'll get around to making another video.